you know, the Raekwon Davis situation, we're still gathering information. Uh, doesn't seem like our players were guilty of anything other than being out late, uh, which doesn't make me happy. Uh, but it is what it is. And um, he is released from the hospital. He's here. He's getting treatment. Uh, he'll be day to day. Uh, we're still gathering information. And what his status is moving forward will be a medical decision. That was Crimson Tide head coach Nick Saban with an update on the Raekwon Davis situation on Monday. The defensive lineman was shot in the leg early Sunday morning, but thankfully Davis has been treated and released from the hospital. Some are speculating that Davis could miss the season opener against number three at Florida State and BMAX word, the best university uh, out there of all time. She said it. I did. Second best, actually, behind USC. If he does sit out, BMAC, um, how will that affect this Alabama defense? It would, it would affect the defense from this standpoint as far as run defense. When you look at Alabama's defense, they've always been one of the best defenses in the country when it comes to stopping the run. But Raekwon is not just a run stopper. He's a do-it-all type of lineman. And coming into this 2017 season, the expectations were, ex were extremely high for Raekwon based on the small sample size we saw a year ago, but yet and still the potential. You're talking about a player, a kid that is 6'7", 330 pounds. We're not talking about a fat, out-of-shape type of body. This guy is well put together, and when you see him in uniform, he can be a big-time disruptor based on what I saw a year ago. Look at the highlight when they played against Mississippi State. He literally bull-rushed the offensive lineman into the lap of the quarterback and caused a sack. That's the type of difference maker he can be. Now, hearing that they have yet to rule him out gives me reason to feel that there's a chance he could play. On the professional level, when I played at Pittsburgh, I had a former teammate, Joey Porter. He was shot in the butt, and he literally played the same week. Now, Joey... That's insane to me. You know, we used to joke with Joey all the time that he was part X-Men. <laughs> for you to be able to... You have to, to be right. For you to be able to get shot in the buttocks and still participate <laughs> and cause havoc on a Sunday, you're not all the way 